First off, I could not find his 911 call where he states he made calls 911. Um, I don't like the convenience of his story matching my story. I just don't like the, the you know, I know I'm, I like to think of myself as badass and everything else, but his story aligns perfectly with my story, and I, I don't, usually I have some defect in my story that I'm like, ah, yeah, that, I have to match it, add it in. This, my story of the cars collapsing first and moving over, it, it, it's, it's, this, this video is posted July 14th. Here we go. I got more data to share. As soon as she goes out of the front, his mother. I, I hear this, not like loud rumble. Like, you feel like the earthquake is happening right in front of you. He says he feels like he's on, this is the 111, room 111, I believe. Earthquake's right in front of you. Car's right there. I'm on the phone, 911. Like, I see. So, they're asking questions and they're not letting us hear the questions being asked. They just have him spontaneously just giving up data like this. So this is, you know, it's, it's weird when they, I don't get the background questioning back and forth. It's not a true interview, is it? It's an edited, edited statement interview. I see cars going inwards underneath the building, all right? This, this is lines of my story. Cars going, like, inwards it's underneath the building, which underneath the building is the car garage. And the pool, next to the pool area, just see, like, Everything just sunk down. Like, Remember, he's calling from 111. So this, I'd like to be all excited for myself and say, look, guys, I call this 100%. But it's just, the guy, deli his delivery is killing me here. I said I can find anybody in a lie. His de I would need to talk to him further. I just don't like how convenient it is lining up with my story. He does a slight wink. That's okay in this case. Um, but his story is late. It's July 14th. I don't have the 911 call. They didn't do an overlay of his 911 call. It would be nice if you guys can find it. I just don't like the convenience of it. So I'm, I, I don't like it. As soon as she goes down to the front, I so start, I, let's start here. They come home late. All right. She goes to the front lot loud because she hears loud noises. What noises is she hearing? He described the beginning over there at the parking garage. So could you be hearing rebar popping? Sure could. Snapping of rebar? I mean, you sure could. You could hear concrete snapping, but I don't have the rebar individually snapping. You could be hearing punk shear happening where it's cracking around the, uh, the, punk, the puncture shear, punching shear around the columns. You could be hearing that noise of the failure happening, and, um, and that's when she goes to make the complaint. Because remember, he comes out of his door. He's not. So, so let's go over that. As soon as she goes down to the front. That's his mother, I believe. I, I hear this, not like loud rumble. Like, you feel like the earthquake is happening right in front of you. So you feel like the earthquake is happening right in front of you. All right. He could be getting his, his earthquake action mixed up with with news events and things like that. Because it's July 14th when he's reporting this now, per the news, which is only yesterday. It's July 15th right now, just so you guys know. So he, he, it could be, you know, part of his story is now mixed up with what he's gathered from, from the news events. But let's go. Who supports that he sees this collapsing first and then the deck? And then they, does, they cut him off. They don't say what he does next about running, which way he runs or anything else. That's what I find so pissing off about it. Pissing off about it. I'm on the phone, I'm on one. Like, I see cars going, like, inwards. It's underneath the building, which underneath the building is the car garage. And so he, that's the only place. It's right there. The only place where you see the cars going in, he sees it. And the pool, next to the pool area, just see like everything just sunk down like and below then, underneath and then he sees the and pool. I hear car alarms going off I see lights flashing everywhere and I remember telling 911 I can't explain any, anything right now you guys have to come here ASAP so he sees that happen which makes kind of sense on this part remember there were some minutes that went by I believe when the deck collapsed and a person photographed it from outside so they get the skedaddle out of there. 
And what he last observes is what we, I talk about, where he sees the cars go under first, and then the decking, punch shearing, he sees it in that order. They skedaddle, and then within minutes later, minutes later, the building collapsed. He's not present at that time, obviously. But they don't, we don't hear the questions and taking, it up, taking us up beyond that. We hear about his PTSD of it all. There's got be a reason, like we came back later, and I feel, I feel it really, like God really came and, and like saved us. That's the collapse of the building after demolitions. So they're taking some uh, liberties there, aren't they? This CBS, uh, whatever it is. But all right, so so there's my. I'm not happy. Let me tell you that I'm not happy. I don't. I, it's so convenient that we were doing things later than usual, and my mom decided to stay later. I, I, I know I should be happy. He describes it as I as I as I call it, but I'm not happy with it. Her event. My sister decided to come back home late. As soon as she goes down in the front, I, I hear this mat, like loud rumble. Like, you feel like the earthquake is happening right in front of you. I'm on the phone, I'm on Like, I see cars going like inwards into okay. underneath the building, which underneath the building is the car garage. And the pool, next to the pool area, you just see like everything just sunk down like below underneath and then I hear car alarms going off I see lights flashing everywhere okay so he supports there is my what I call the, the beginning exactly as I called it I'm sorry I, I'm not excited about uh, that that I've nailed it like this but because I, I'm just not I'm just not I, it's it's uh, it's um all right, it's an anti-climax, if you will. How about that? Anti-climax. He's a witness. He described it exactly as I call it, where I state that the cars, that this area collapsed first. I have the cars there, then engulfing this area over here and working his way back to the building. He sees this fall, the, uh, the butterfly effect. They skedaddle, and apparently it takes a little bit longer to make its way over to there. Why, during his skedaddle, we have a witness from the street take a film of the... Uh, the, the parking deck on the ground, I believe. So, um, the noise that she heard to bring it outside, since this is our first, what he observes, the first collapse. We know no other building, no other section over here that collapsed. He observes first this collapse. So, her, the noise she heard was obviously breaking in puncture around this section here. Um, well, she heard noises, puncture taking place around here. Or uh, somebody was under there doing something nefarious. I don't have that. We have no dead people there. But we do have some banging. But uh, we have no... I don't think anybody's that good to know how to do that. Um, so we have the puncture taking place. Puncturing shear taking place. It's cracking. It's cracking up. It's being held here mostly by the uh, deck next to it. Because it's all one deck. We get a little slight pitch. He finally can't take the noise. He takes. He observes from his area of observation, whichever way it would be over here. I'm sorry, it's too far. It would be right about, well, fuck, it's closer. It's way here. I'm in, I'm in the wrong spot. It's here. He observes the cars go under. He shows his hands and the butterfly effect of the cars. Talks about the pool c caving in. He does not say it makes it back to him. He skedaddles many minutes later. Uh, he skedaddles. Someone fil films this collapse here. He skedaddles just in time. He doesn't talk about how he screams for his sister and everything. What it, what it has me is the guy delivers very plain, very plain. Now, there are some people in England that I have to remember that they lose an arm. They look at it and say, you know, the chopped off arm, they can say, my, uh, I remember it's English type people. Now, my member of psychology of humans, that it was them back at one time that I researched. They basically said, 
look, uh, my arm is, uh, I just amputated my arm by accident, you know, just as calm as can be. This guy, I don't know his background, but his delivery is, is that calm. But yet he talks about PTSD over here. Let's, uh, let's just let that soak in. But again, if there's, there's a tape. If ver if there's a verification. You can look at it. Um, you can find it with the comments right here. It's dated like this. And it's from these people controlling the narrative there. Because they didn't ask the questions out loud. We just hear them responding. We don't know what they edited out. So it's an anti-climax for me. I know I should be screaming in the ears and everything else. I, I'm not. Okay. Um... Please comment. I really need your help on the support for the channel for commenting. Thank you. And again, I don't want to, my I don't want my lack of enthusiasm in this video to to uh, to persuade you to also have lack of enthusiasm. It's just the way I'm built. I need to, even though he's my verification, I still would like one more verification, which is uh, because it's delivery, and and that's my bias. That is my bias. He clearly is describing what I described. But I, in my bias, I want one more. I want more verification besides myself. I've already give, given my story of how I predict it happened. It matches up perfectly with his story. This section here, the failure section being first here and there. <sighs> just, just weird about the convenience of it for me. Um, and yet... I have to, this, this is me, I have to accept that this is exactly that I, that I evaluated this correctly based on his statement, but I would like another party to verify it, including a video. Um, and again, you guys can give me, you know, a lot of love if you want to, if you think that I should just chill out and enjoy the, enjoy the, uh, enjoy my evaluation that I nailed it. I appreciate your comments to that if you think I nailed it and if you, I nailed it. If let me put it this way, I nailed it 100%. If he's if he's telling the story truthfully, it's 100% nailed. Done. Then start at the start position. So let me put it that way. Take care. Love you all. Bye.